Do you have a running list in your head of things that you're looking for when you go thrifting? I do. And one of the things that I've been looking for has been a bread box. I've been thinking that would be a really neat thing to change into a charging station. So when I was in Goodwill the other day, I finally found one. Here it is. It was in that section where all of the wooden things are and it was so jammed full of stuff. So I just kind of went over, saw it, pulled it off the shelf, and of course it was attached to like 10 other things. So it was just this domino effect. Like this came and then it knocked down 25 other things and like this long shelf flew off, almost hit the guy next to me, it made a huge bang. I was that person when you're in the store and you hear a big bang, you're like, whew, I'm glad that wasn't me. It was me, but nothing broke, nobody got hurt, and I found my bread box. To get started, I'm gonna trace out a circle for the area that I want to cut out of the back. First, I am going to use a Dremel to cut a hole out of the back of the bread box for all of the wires to go through. And the dog was not happy with the Dremel. Now that the hole's in the back, this thing needs a good cleaning. Chalk paint will cover up pretty much anything, but one thing that I know it doesn't cover is grease. And it's probably safe to say that this, since this has been sitting in someone's kitchen for years, it probably has some grease on it. So I'm gonna wipe it down really well, and then we'll start to take it apart and get it ready to paint. After wiping it down, I am just removing all of the hardware and taking the glass out of the front. The glass did not want to come out. I had to fight hard to get it out, but we got it. Now I'm giving it a coat of white Adirondack chalk paint from Home Decor. So this piece took three coats to cover. So now that I have this white, I'm realizing that even though I cleaned it, the paint is starting to crack. So that means there was probably still a little bit of grease left or oil or some bit of food or something on there. So rather than fight this, what I'm gonna do is try to work with it. And I decided that this front piece is gonna just get a faux wood type look. And I think that'll contrast with the white and actually give it a little more character anyway. So I have some mineral. Some colors is camel from Target. And some more of the Adirondack that I painted the piece with. I'm just gonna use these to give this a wood type finish. So I know this piece already was wood and I am painting it to look like fake wood, but I want to get that really nice soft white farmhouse type look. So I think it's actually easier just to paint it than it is to sand it down, strip it, and all that. I think this looks cute. Weigh the paint to make it look like wood. I think that actually gives it some nice contrast. That looks really cute. And it'll look pretty, not all white. Now while this dries, I'm going to cut a little chicken wire that I had left over to put in the middle. After cutting the chicken wire, I'll just attach it with a staple gun. And then just trim the edges and curl in any sharp corners. And there it is. I'm really glad that the paint acted up on me because I actually like this better. So now we'll just put it back together. finish it off, I cut the word bread out of my silhouette and I'm just going to put that across the bottom. So 
here it is all finished. All right, I wish I was kidding about this, but I'm not. Here's our charging station currently. By the end of the day, it literally looks like this. I can put that stuff away 10 times a day and then whoop, right back there. So I can't wait to set up the bread box charging station and make this all cleaned up. That's so much better. Now we can still get to everything that we need charged really easily, but it's not all laying out across the counter. So this was the bread box before, and now here it is after. So I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure, and if you would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time.